Hey everyone, it's Joe here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. I'm bringing you the Friday wad. On Fridays, we do dumbbells. So today's dumbbell wad, it's gonna be five exercises. We're gonna focus on some unique mobility moves and it's gonna be all unilateral stuff. So it'll be one side and then the other. As I've discussed before, whenever we do unilateral stuff, you're gonna to wanna to do your weak side. For me, that's gonna be my left side. So focus on your weak side first. Make sure you can do the weight and the reps with the weak side as you can with the strong side. It's a safe move. Um, it's a good way to stay even. And also focus on your weaknesses. Going unilateral is gonna really expose some of your weaknesses that you may not see doing bilateral or double-sided stuff. So let's get started. First exercise, I'll grab my dumbbell. And I've got 25s here, but 10s, 15s, whatever you've got would work. Or if you just have a kettlebell, that'll work as well. Um, so let's get going. First exercise is gonna be a single arm bird dog with a dumbbell row. Now this is a pretty advanced movement. I'll show you the advancement and then I'll show you the regular move. Um, so here is, I'm gonna get in this bird dog and here it is from this angle. So up and up and what I'm going to do is I'm holding the position and rowing. Let me show you from the side. So you're rowing with the left arm, your right leg is up, right arm is down, left leg is down. So, and you just want to slightly tap the dumbbell on the floor. Now if that's too much, if that one and one for your base is too much, two things we can do. We can get in the bear position and row and maybe go up and then back down, down. We can just keep it down. Or if you would rather do the movement without the weight, you can get in this position. It's a tough position just to be in and practice the row. So here it would be from this side. Really good for coordination, balance, shoulder stability, and you're gonna feel it in your core big time. So we're gonna go weak side first, then strong side, 10 total reps each side, take your time with it. Excellent, next exercise. We are gonna get the dumbbell onto my shoulder, and then we're gonna do a single arm box press. So up, press, down, down, up, press, down, down. And when I'm going up, I'm squeezing my glutes. Up, press, down, down. I'll show you from this side, from the back. So here we are, we're in almost a pigeon position. So I'm up, locking my hips out, pressing overhead, coming down, coming down. It's gonna take a tremendous amount of core stability and glute strength as well as, it's, it's a good mobility move to open up those hips. So think about some of these workout or exercises are some good complimentary stuff to be doing, maybe in a bigger workout or just how we're doing it right here. But take what you learned here and you can incorporate it into some weighted mobility stuff and just ways to better yourself. Next exercise, we're doing a single leg RDL. So single leg depth lift, but of course we have our dumbbell, we're doing the RDL and we're going to come up with a curl. So we've done these before with the single leg RDL, but we're going to throw the curl in. So I'm down, I have a soft bed in the knee, just getting that stretch in the hamstring and the calf, up tall. So here it is from the side, I'm back, getting the stretch in this whole posterior side, and up, and notice I'm pausing at the top, focusing on staying square, focusing on my balance, on my coordination, all that stuff. We wanna move slow and move with a purpose. You don't wanna be flopping all over the place. You wanna be under control. When you're up here on this bottom leg, when you're standing up tall, I want you to squeeze that glute. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the core. You're right here. You're not resting the dumbbell. The dumbbell is out, so you're staying tight with the arms. It's a really good balancing one. Another great mobility move. Um, definitely one to practice and make sure you have enough space around you to move around. Excellent. So next, we're going to pop to the ground and we're going to do a hollow 
hold with a dumbbell press. So I'm up here, I'm getting my shoulders off the ground as well as my heels, and I'm up. We're trying to hold and move slowly. So I'm using my core to not roll over and fall. So it's isometric on the core because you're in that almost banana hold and on this press it's gonna make it uneven. You're gonna wanna wobble around. Do your best not to. Stay square, control your breathing, move nice and slow. Like I said, move with a purpose. Next and last, we have a lunge hold with a windmill. So this is a fun one. Get in the lunge position. I'm gonna rest my knee on the ground. So I'm in this lunge position. I'm gonna go dumbbell overhead, lock it out. And what we're gonna do is rotate. I'm gonna keep my eyes facing the ceiling or the dumbbell, hand to the ground and back up. Now it doesn't look like a lot of movement is happening, but really good for the shoulder mobility. This is gonna really show how healthy your shoulders are and how mobile they are. If you're not able to do this, a great thing you can practice, let's get a tennis shoe or something to balance overhead before you're putting weight above your head. Make sure it's a light enough weight that you can control it and drop it. It's not about the weight, this one's about the mobility. So you're getting here and this should be a straight line like this and then back up. So you're gonna feel it in your lats and your obliques as well as you're gonna need some hip mobility, thoracic mobility, it's a really great exercise. So, weak side, then strong side for that last um, lunge windmill. And that is the wad for the day. Y'all have a great weekend. Keep working hard. And uh, make sure you join us for yoga Monday morning at 10 a.m. We'll see you there. Cheers.